Good morning and welcome to the Araneta sponsored SCCT symposium. We're excited to be leading off this year's SCCT annual meeting. Our topic this morning is mobile cardiac CT, a novel approach to expanding patient access. My name is Scott Schubert. I'm the chairman of Araneta and I'll be the moderator for the symposium. After a brief introduction, I'm delighted to introduce our two distinguished speakers. First, Dr. Matt Budoff, who is Professor of Medicine at UCLA and a past president of the SECT. And second, Mike Allen is the CEO at Amory Medical Academy and is an attorney and business development leader for new cardiac CT practices. Araneta is a team of world-class technology pioneers who are 100% focused and dedicated to cardiac CT. Our vision is to grow cardiac CT as the frontline diagnostic test for managing cardiovascular disease, to thereby significantly improve patient outcomes and lower healthcare costs. We are the developer and manufacturer of the Cardiograph, the world's first dedicated cardiovascular CT. The system is regulatory cleared and available for sale around the world, and we have more than a dozen systems installed doing routine patient care and fast workflow. And we are proud partners with GE Healthcare to provide full finance and service solutions. Cardiac CT is dramatically underutilized today and lacks access in many point of care settings. A recent study in the US Medicare population showed a 43 to one ratio of nuclear myocardial perfusion studies versus cardiac CT. So despite the impressive advances in cardiac CT technology, and hundreds of studies demonstrating its clinical outcomes and cost effectiveness, the routine adoption of cardiac CT is lagging. So what's needed to improve access to cardiac CT? Number one, today's cardiac CT systems, shown with the blue arrow, are whole body CTs that have an intrinsic trade-off. They are either 64 slice CTs that are more affordable, or they are high performance systems that cost between one to $2 million. What's needed is a cardiac CT system that delivers both the best IQ and is affordable. Number two, new cardiac CT practices today must buy an expensive system before they have confidence in their patient referrals. This upfront capital cost at a fixed location typically requires a break-even number of patients between 25 to 30 per week or five to six per day. In the past, new imaging modalities such as MR or PET-CT were able to grow because mobile systems made them more affordable to new imaging centers as their practice was starting and can reduce the number of patients uh, for break-even to five to 10 per week. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Budoff to talk about his first experiences with mobile cardiac CT. All right, well, uh, thank you very much, Scott. It's certainly my pleasure to present to you the rural study and why we decided to uh, uh, go with a mobile CT scanner as part of our imaging uh, um, proposition. So really, when we talk about the opportunity of mobile cardiac CT, we really want to understand the ability to really access the underserved, uh, we can get to small community hospitals, and we can grow cardiac CT without requiring expensive acquisition at every site. The rural study is an NIH-sponsored study uh, that's going to take this mobile unit through the rural south, uh, starting in Alabama uh, in July and uh, going through four states to really try to capture what's going on with cardiovascular and lung health in this uh, uh, population. We're gonna enroll 4,600 patients uh, over four years. We're gonna look at uh, disparities in outcomes, healthcare, heart disease, lung disease, among other, other factors. The mobile unit houses of the cardiograph CT scanner. It also is gonna have echocardiography and pulmonary function testing equipment, uh, rooms for interviews, a bathroom, and a full mobile laboratory. So when we think about the goals of the rural study, really our short-term goals are to look at, at uh, phenotyping the heart and lung studies, uh, to look at multi-organ uh, morbidity, 
We're gonna look at outcomes over time in patients, but really by being able to take a, getting a calcium score and, and a CT angiogram as needed, uh, as well as lungs imaging with the uh, cardiograph, we're gonna really have elegant uh, imaging to accompany our assessment of patients' uh, overall health. The advantages of the cardiograph is that it gives us a one beat whole heart coverage. So it's 140 millimeter coverage, so it's truly a whole heart scanner. It obtains 560 slices. It has the fastest temporal resolution at 0 0.24 uh, second rotation speed. It has high resolution imaging with 0 0.28 millimeter resolution. We have the ability to use low dose, kind of a marriage between Araneta and GE, allowing us to get low dose imaging using ACER CV to reduce the radiation exposure. It has both uh, cardiovascular and thoracic applications and giving us an extended lung field of view so we can assess lung cancer and lung disease simultaneously with the heart. And of course, a cardiac focused workflow to really uh, improve productivity and allow us to do multiple studies on patients over a short period of time. So here you can see the stereo CT uh, affording us one beat whole heart coverage. There are two x-ray sources. They overlap and provide uh, one image, a stereo CT uh, image uh, at the detector level, which reduces detector size. Uh, and obviously reduces detector costs for the same coverage and reduces cone beam artifacts. As far as the field of view, um, we can really focus. They have our dose reduction filters that focus the field of view to really give us the highest resolution detector covering the, the area of interest, in this case, the heart. Um, the radiation outside the field of view is attenuated by 10 to 20 fold. We have high sensitivity peripheral detectors that acquire data outside the field of view to give us lung imaging as well um, with a, a selectable 160 millimeter or 250 millimeter field of view, depending on body habitus. And of course, if we just focus in on the heart, we have less incidental findings in the lungs as we get a smaller focus field of view with less radiation exposure to the participants. These were a couple example images. I think just to give you an idea of the resolution, I can tell you as somebody who's been doing this, I did my first CT angio in 1995, that these images are exquisite and as good as any uh, or better than any other scanner that I've had the uh, opportunity to work with during my career. You can see this is a nice example of a patient who is, um, uh, came in, 72 year old man, 75% phase, and you can see whole heart coverage, no, no uh, lines of, uh, uh, for, for uh, mal uh, mis misalignment. Um, and you can see really just beautiful imaging along with the ability, of course, to look at resting perfusion defects that, that accompany the stenosis severity in that proximal LAD. We can also do vascular imaging and whole heart a whole body vascular imaging. This is really a, a, a TAVR study that was done uh, using the cardiograph. And you can again see very high resolution images on the left of the aortic valve itself, uh, and then the entire aortic tree uh, going down both legs, uh, looking for access and uh, uh, ability to, to uh, do this uh, patient uh, for uh, TAVR. And finally, uh, a patient who is heavy, 255 pound, patient BMI was 34.6. Uh, and for three millisieverts, you can see really uh, exceptional image quality, including a stenosis of the posterior descending artery um, uh, in this patient. So you can really see even uh, moderate sized vessels with excellent image quality. You can see those cross sections where the artery just uh, virtually disappears at the bifurcation um, um, with a subtotal stenosis. So excellent image quality without misalignment because of whole heart imaging and really high resolution um, scanning. So this is uh, the reason why we chose the cardiograph for the rural study. It's the first and only dedicated cardiovascular CT, affords us high quality images for any patient. It's the fastest CT and it allows again for whole heart imaging in a single heartbeat. It's uh, 
easily located in physician's office, cath lab, or mobile unit like we're using it for, uh, going from county to county uh, to underserved hospitals. Um, and uh, you'll hear from uh, Mike Allen as far as the footprint uh, and the lower installation costs associated with the lower radiation, uh, excuse me, with the lower energy requirements as well as the smaller footprint. It's a dedicated cardiac scanner, so it's easy to train our, our tech technologists um, and really easy to operate. And we get, again, top performance at a lower price. So the affordability plays a big role, especially as we're dealing with uh, these um, research patients. So again, the benefits of a mobile cardiac CT, access to the underserved, we can, we can uh, obtain imaging at small community hospitals without each one having to buy their own equipment uh, and really grow cardiac CT access at every site. So the rural study with the Araneta cardiograph is aimed to improve access to cardiovascular and lung care for our rural patients. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Budoff. Uh, I now am happy to introduce Mike Allen. Uh, Mike's going to talk about the technical, financial, and operation, con operational considerations of a mobile cardiac CT system. Thanks, Scott. Good morning. My name is Mike Allen, and I'm the CEO of Amory Medical Academy. We provide cardiac CT training and the consulting to help our trainees and clients put all aspects of cardiac CTA into practice profitably. Over the next eight slides, I will describe the first of its kind, mobile cardiac CT with rural, why the cardiograph as a mobile CT, the possible mobile vehicle platforms, and the financials related to mobile cardiac CT. Rural engaged various CT manufacturers and selected the cardiograph. On our 53-foot medical examination unit, or MEU, we literally have a medical office on wheels. This MEU features a fully independent PSL2 laboratory, full-size restroom, waiting room, examination room, echo, ultrasound, and the cardiograph CT. This MEU has three power sources, a shoreline power for CT scanning, a diesel generator, and enough batteries for 12 hours, 110 volt support. The large heating and air conditioning units are included for cooling in the hot, humid summer climates of the rural south. Lastly, the trailer is designed to withstand extreme 100 mile an hour winds. So we ask ourselves, why the cardiograph for mobile cardiac CT? Very simply, of all single beat whole heart CT scanners, the cardiograph has the highest temporal resolution, 14 centimeter detector for coverage, and the best service and support in the rural communities. It has a 40% smaller footprint for limited mobile spaces. It's 40% lighter or 2,400 pounds lighter than most CTs making it easier to transport. It consumes 35% less power and enjoys 40% less heat to burden the air conditioners. The combination of all these elements makes the cardiograph the top mobile selection for rural. Rural was the proof of concept, but now Araneta has developed other mobile vehicle solutions that are commercially available with the cardiograph. Probably the most popular form for mobile cardiac CT is the RV and bus chassis. It is a self-propelled unit and can range in sizes between 32 to 42 feet, typically rides on air suspension systems with wheelchair access. Trailers have been used for medical imaging since the mid 80s. A second available option shown here demonstrates a 42 foot trailer with a cardiograph scanner. It has an intake area and a small exam room. Typically these trailers are hauled by semis or tractors. Smaller configurations can be transferred with a full size heavy duty diesel truck such as a Ford F-350. Trailers have the possible cost saving advantage to be reused from any existing place. Mobile radio radiology services or MRS are full service concierge mobile CT solutions that are designed and priced to transfer operations of mobile CT to a third party service. The services may include managing the mobile car CT contractors and operations, billing and collections, maintenance, data management, and potential liabilities. These services will cost more compared to your traditional mobile services, but it will relieve all, nearly all concerns of running a mobile practice. This table baselines the cardiograph startup projections of the fixed site cardiac CT expectations compared with the mobile cardiac CT over a five year period. Of course, these projections are site dependent and you should consult a financial analyst. 
I'd like to highlight a couple things. The Cardex CTA CPT codes are shaded in green. These are your primary CT procedures and CPT codes representing about a third of your procedures, but 50 to 60% of your total reimbursements. The significant difference between a fixed site and a mobile CT is that the mobile CT will encounter between 30% to as much as 200% more patients. Also, calcium scans are attracted to many local government and corporate wellness programs, which can lead to increased volume of detected disease. The red boxes highlight the impact of, corp of ownership versus renting. The advantage of ownership is lower monthly payments and the very important accelerated working capital recapture through the tax write-offs of depreciation. In the MRS column, this is a rental scenario that gives you access to technology for six months or more without the long-term commitment and investment risk. For that flexibility, the renter will pay higher rental fees and CT tech salaries and wages. With an MRS, the practice manager doesn't need to worry about the details of running a mobile product CT. Other modalities in the mobile environment, for example, MR and PET CT, typically start with mobile solutions, and this is the value of the MRS. Then they acquire a fixed scanner after their practice has grown. To summarize the previous page of financial details, there are four key metrics for financial operations. One, pre-tax cash flow is captured at the top of the slide of uh, page nine as the estimate of total profit losses. These numbers are in dollars and represent five years of profitability net of any short-term losses from initial startup. Two, we have the net present value or MPV is a short time value money calculation that allows a total cash flow net of depreciation. Financial analysts commonly use a risk adjusted time value money called the hurdle rate, which is typically around 10%. The calculated MPV is the true value of the Cardi CT project in terms of today's dollars. The graph in the lower left chart, labeled chart one, well, with the color bars, shows the positive net present value of a mobile project. The internal rate of return, or IRR, is the annual rate of return that's earned on investment and typically expressed in percentages. In the mobile trailer example, in the third column, an initial investment of $1.2 million has about a 50% IRR. This is equal to earning a 50% compounding annual growth rate on your bank savings. In the lower left chart labeled chart one, the yellow bars represent the IRR of each investment within a five year period. These IRRs show that the mobile Cardex CT can be profitable and financeable by a banker. Number four, break-evens. Break-evens are simply stated as the metric in patients and procedures per day that determines whether or not your practice has enough, have made enough revenue to pay its bills. Please take a look at the lower right chart labeled chart two. I'm very happy to report that cardiac CT break-evens are approximately 5.4 patients per day at a fixed cardiograph site. And then for the mobile cardi cardiograph CT sites, the approximate CT break-even is about six and a half patients per day. In summary, this novel mobile cardiograph scanner allows increased cardiac CT patient access in rural and community hospital settings that would otherwise not be available to justify the financial expense of a fixed cardiac CT scanner. That concludes my portion of the presentation. Thank you very much. I'll hand the microphone back to Scott.